Lesson 6 starts on page 21 and it has two parts. The first part is on a review of subtraction and the second part is on fact families. To understand and review subtraction, let's just use some circles as an example. Now you see that there are five circles that I've drawn on the board. If we took two of those circles away, we would only have three circles left. And so we could make a subtraction problem with that. We started with five circles and we took two of them away and so we use a symbol called a minus sign to represent taking away two. And then the remainder, the ones that are left over, there's three. And the result of subtraction, we call that the, the difference. Remember we called the result of addition the sum. Now we can write subtraction problems horizontally just like we did there or we can write them vertically like this. And that bar underneath the bar we put our answer. We can do addition problems the same way. We can write them horizontally or vertically. A simple way to check your answer in subtraction to see if you did it right is to just add the 2 and the 3 back together. So those two numbers, if you add them back together and that equals 5, then you know you did the problem right. And so something you can think about for checking an answer is to add up. And so you just put an arrow like that. Subtract down. Just think of that. Subtract down. So we say 5 minus 2 is 3. We work downwards. Add up. We go 3 plus 2 equals 5. And that's how we check our subtraction problem to see if we did it right or not. Let's go ahead and do some practice problems. Let's do 16 minus 7. Well, 16 minus 7, that would equal 9. So we subtract down and then add up. So you say 9 plus 7, if that equals 16, then we know we did the problem right. 9 plus 7 does equal 16, so that is correct. And so we can put a box around that answer. B, let's do 13 minus 8. That would equal 5, right? 13 minus 8 equals 5. Now add up to make sure, check your work. 8 plus 5 equals 13, so that is correct. We did that the right way. Let's do one more. 10 minus 4. 10 minus 4 would equal 6. Check that by adding up. 6 plus 4 equals 10. And so that's right. Well, now let's look at the second part of this lesson on fact families. You'll be doing some problems on these. In a fact family, what you'll have is you'll have three numbers that you can make two addition facts and two subtraction facts using those three numbers. And those are the only three numbers that you will need to use. Okay, so let's just do a practice problem. Let's use these numbers, 3, 4, and 7. And what I want you to do is make two addition facts and two subtraction facts. And so what you would do is two addition facts that would only use these three numbers, 3 plus 4 equals 7. That works. And then remember the order that we put the add-ends in does not matter. So we can say 4 plus 3 equals 7. So there's two addition facts. Now, and, and notice that we only use those three numbers to do those two addition facts, 3, 4, and 7. Here's an addition fact that wouldn't work. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Because, see, the 10 is not in that group of three numbers. So that is not an appropriate addition fact. 10 is not part of that family of numbers. Now, let's do two subtraction facts. And so always what you do with the subtraction facts is you use the biggest number in there and then you subtract from that biggest number. So we'd say 7 minus 4 equals 3. There's one subtraction fact. Remember we can add up to check our work. 3 plus 4 equals 7. That one works. And then let's do one more of them. Always use the biggest number on top. So now we'll say 7 minus 3. That equals 4. 
and then add up 4 plus 3 equals 7. So there's two subtraction facts. Here's two addition facts. One reason we do these fact families is so that you can see how addition and subtraction are similar. And just to understand the concept of fact families a little better, let's do a subtraction fact that would not work. 4 minus 3 equals 1. That would not work because 1 is not part of that fact family. So that's one that wouldn't work. You have to have, you have to use all three numbers and only those three numbers in your fact families. Okay, well that's all for lesson 6.